The third layer, how we'll live in an overpopulated world, futuristic solutions. Every minute, the Earth gets a little more crowded. We're pushing past 8 billion, heading for 10. Our sprawling, resource-hungry layer one lifestyle? It's unsustainable. The crunch is coming, and to survive, we can't expand outwards. We must build up. This is the concept of the third layer living standard, radical blueprint for a thriving, post-overpopulation world. The first layer is the ground, our precious farmland, wilderness, and resource infrastructure. The second is the traditional urban sprawl we know today. The third layer is the leap, self-contained, high-density habitats that minimize their touch on the world below. Think of it as volume over surface, instead of each person claiming acres. We share hyper-efficient, highly customized smart habitats. This isn't just tiny living, it's maximizing every cubic meter through modular design, collapsible furniture and virtual environments. Crucially, the third layer is resource neutral. Food comes from integrated, vertical mega farms, hydroponic and aeroponic systems that recycle 90% of their water, grown right where they are consumed, eliminating complex logistics. Energy is generated through vertical solar skins, wind turbines and even geothermal capture. Water is a closed loop system. Every drop is treated, purified and instantly cycled back for use. Turning waste into resource, waste management evolves from landfill to literal fuel. Everything is categorized, compacted, and converted back into energy or raw materials on site. The goal? Zero material leaving the city block. The third layer doesn't mean sacrificing quality of life. By condensing our footprint, we free up massive amounts of layer one land for rewilding. This reclaims green spaces, cleans the air, and restores biodiversity. The focus shifts from ownership to access. Community is key. Shared transit, shared creative spaces, and a digital infrastructure that keeps everyone connected, regardless of their physical dwelling size. It's not about being poor, it's about being efficiently prosperous. The third layer. Living standard is the architectural answer to overpopulation. It's the moment we choose a future of shared, sustainable abundance over individual, resource draining scarcity. What are your thoughts on life in a vertical city? Is this the only way forward or is there another path? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of humanity.